Hey, what is going on? So, today we are doing the character She. And uh, that is not S-H-E, that is S-H-I, which apparently means death in Japanese. Uh, at least that's what the Wikipedia page told me. Uh, now, I'll be honest, I'm not super familiar with this character. I've seen her around since the early 90s when she was created, but I really don't know all that much about her. I just thought it was a cool character design, and I thought it'd be fun to do a Photoshop version of her. So, here are some just illustrated references I pulled up. And I'm gonna do a slightly different variation of the costume, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be basically look like this. Just with some slight modifications. So, let's pull up our first image. And I'm going to use this image as kind of a base image for the body in pose. And the reason I pick this image is because she's uh, she's wearing this like bathing suit with this like super high-waisted narrow bottoms here. And on she, she has kind of these uh, same narrow high-waisted bottoms. Like here it's like super net narrow and high-waisted. We're not going to make it that much, but still has that same kind of similar narrow high-waisted in bottom. So I'm just going to start by clipping her out with the pen tool. Going to make a path. And just start making our path. I'm not going to worry about her head or her shoulders really because I'm going to be replacing these. So just going to chop her head off. And honestly, I probably don't need to worry about her arms too much either because they're going to be covered. And I don't want this chain, obviously, but I'll just kind of tap around it and take it out later. I might end up just totally replacing her hands. I'm not sure, I'm not sure ultimately how much of her leg I'll end up showing in the final piece. I might show her like a full head to toe image of her, or I might just like crop her off at the thigh. I'm not sure yet. We'll, uh, we'll just see how the piece evolves and see what happens. Although you can just click on the link in the description for the final piece and you can see it right now. Again, I don't want this chain, so I'm just going to clip around it. Alright, so we got her all pathed out. We're going to make our selection. So like 0.5 and make a new document call that she with an I obviously just gonna do like 18 by 12 oh that's the wrong orientation there we go And we're going to paste her in, scale her up a bit, and uh, yeah, I might, I might kind of have her like that, or I might just sew all of her, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's just keep her, let's just keep her at that size for now. And again, like I always do, I'm going to make my background kind of like a neutral bluish color. Like that. 
because I don't like working on white or definitely not that transparency checkerboard crap. So let's go back to our character reference. Now obviously her stomach is showing, but we got no stomach over here. She's wearing a one piece. So I'm going to add in some stomach. And luckily, I just so happen to have a picture of the same model in a very similar pose, but she's wearing a two-piece. So I can grab her stomach from this picture and put it on the other picture. And because it's the same model in the very similar pose, it should be really easy to combine. I think I only need about that. I might use this top part as part of the costume, I'm not sure yet, but I'll just grab it in case I want it. So again, make that selection. Paste that in. Put that in front of her. And position it right about there. She's not in the exact same position, but it's, it's very, very close. Very close. But uh, before I do that, I'm just going to... I'm going to chop her arms off. Because I can. So I'm gonna. Just going to get it right about there. I'm gonna go over here. This path is gonna need to be a little more, a little more accurate because it's right on her edge of her thigh. And I'm just gonna go like right there, ish. This is all gonna be covered by her suit, so it doesn't have to be exact at all. So, to select that, and I'm just going to straight up cut that off. Alright, now's a good time to start labeling layers. So we got main body, add that B, got arms, and stomach. All right. So I'm going to go into my main body and I'm just going to liqui liquefy things a little bit. Uh, let's just see the background. And I'm just going to bring her thighs up a little bit. Make it a little thicker. Again, because I can. All right. Just a little, little uh, thickness added for good measure. All right. So now let's work on getting the stomach to match up. Just turn the transparency down a little bit. Just warp it so it matches this. Right. I think it's good. The color doesn't quite match, so I'm just going to do a layer adjustment and just tweak that color on the stomach a little bit so it matches the body. Maybe just dodge it a little bit, lighten it up. All right. 
I think that matches pretty well. So I'm going to put a mask on our main body. And again, let's turn down that transparency on the stomach. And I'm just going to mask out just gonna mask off where you can see the body over the stomach. So that there. There we go. And I'm gonna put a mask on the stomach layer. Just mask it off to about there. I'm not going to worry too much about the uh, the transition line between her stomach and the legs because she's going to be wearing like a belt right here and that belt's going to be covering this transition line so you're not going to see it. And let's put all those stomach adjustments into a group and again just call it stomach. Alright so let's add her in her head next. Got this picture here. And uh, she's got a nice kind of a uh, fierce look to her, so. I'm gonna chop her head off. And I don't need all this hair in front of her. Uh, her, um, <clears throat> she's my voice. Uh, the hair in the picture is going to have her hair behind her flowing in the back, so I don't need all, to cut out all this hair that's kind of in the front. So I'm just going to get like roughly right about that. And I'm, I'm also not going to worry about the, the edges of the hair right now. That's all I'm going to get. Bring her in. Call that head. And uh, got a flipper so the lighting matches better. She's going to be... How big do I need to head? Right about there. Be a little bigger. And make some adjustments on that layer to match up our skin tones. Oh, I gotta clip that. There we go. And I have no special technique for matching the skin tones. I just kind of, I just kind of eyeball it till it looks right. I know some people have like techniques and like more exact ways to match skin tones and maybe that is the better way to do things, but I just eyeball it and it works for me. So next, 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 next. Uh, now this is the same model and from here I'm going to get um, the uh, neck and the shoulders and the top of the chest here. And some of the hair. And that and about that. That should be plenty. So we'll paste in our shoulders. Whoop. And this will work as a nice transition, uh, a good transition to the head to the body. And we're just going to flip that horizontally so our lighting matches. Call that shoulders, I guess. And again, make some adjustments. 
to uh, the skin tone. Let's get these in a group. Call that shoulders. Turn the head off for now. And just get this to line up. With our body shoulders. Yeah, I'm just going to warp that a little bit. You're not going to see all of this and all of this. Her costume is going to be covering uh, most of that area, so we don't need to worry about that transition between the shoulders and the arms. All right, so now let's get our head to match up with our shoulders. So just put a mask on that. Just start to fade that. So we get a nice smooth transition. So I want a better transition between the head here and the neck. As you can see, it doesn't quite match up. It's a little rough. You can you can tell that this is from one picture here and the neck is from another picture. So I want to smooth out the uh, the like the transition between the jawline and the neck. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a duplicate of that shoulders layer. I'm just gonna copy that. And I'm gonna just take a rough selection of a little bit of the neck and a little bit of the jawline. And I'm gonna feather that out like, just like, I don't know, six. Not too much. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna paste that over the head And I'm gonna use that to help smooth out our transition. So I'm just gonna call that jaw. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna liquefy that to match the jawline of our head. Because we don't want it like that. So I'm gonna find our head layer. I'm just gonna turn down the opacity. And I'm gonna line up this jaw with the jaw from our head. Just line it up as best as I possibly can. And just play with that opacity slider to make sure you got it in the right place. I can see here it needs to go in a little more. And here too. All right, so that's pretty close. So I don't want that at 100%, so we're gonna just turn that down maybe about like 40. And I'm gonna put a mask on it. And just fade that off at the bottom and the top. Let's add a little bit of shadow here and just paint in some shadows underneath here turn that down a bit mask that off so it's not over our jaw All right, so now our head is transitioning into our neck much more smoothly. It looks a lot, it looks a lot more natural, and that's a technique I'll use sometimes if I'm pasting a different head on a new body, and the like the jawline doesn't quite match, it doesn't quite line up or look right. 
I'll, uh, I'll take a little piece of the original jawline, I'll put that on top of the new head, and I'll liquefy it so uh, the jaw lines line up, and then I'll just fade it down a little bit and feather it off. Uh, and that's a good way to help if you have like a rough transition between uh, your neck and your head. All right, so the base of her body is almost finished. I just need to add in her, uh, her chest. So I got this image right here. And we're going to path her out. And I'm not sure if I want these ribbon things here. I might use those, I might not, but I'll just clip them out for now. And then I'll see. And I'll just get right about there. And there. Paste that in. Call that chest. And I need to flip that horizontally. Try that again. Flip. Horizontal. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. And position it. Put that in place right about there. And let's put that behind the shoulders. So let's put a mask on our shoulders layer. Just make that transition between the shoulders and the chest nice and smooth. She's got these tattoos here, but I don't think you'll end up seeing that on the final piece. Because I think only, let's go back, yeah, because only about this little bit right here is going to show. Actually, you might see a little bit of that one. So I might need to do something to get rid of those tattoos. All right, and let's put some adjustments on that because obviously it doesn't match the rest of the skin. Clipping mask. And I'm actually going to cut out this top separately. So let's do that now. Let's get in a little closer. Oh, that is too close. Gonna copy that, paste that in front, turn that off. And let's put a mask. And let's just mask off most of the fabric part. Like mask off all down here. Mask off that. There we go. You got a little bit of the skin there, but that's okay. That is okay. Turn that off for now. So I think I might need to try to get rid of these tattoos here, so let's try to do that. Actually, I wonder if I could just Put the shoulders back in and have them cover that. And well, that might be enough. Let me just lighten that up there a little. 
dark in there. All right, so I think I got my shoulders into my chest. Not my chest, her chest. But we got our shoulders and our chest fading together pretty well. I might need to do a little more tweaking. I'm not sure, I don't think you're gonna see much of this in the final costume, because the, the neckline's gonna probably be about down like there and there. So you probably won't see all this stuff over here or over here, so. I might need to go back in here and readjust some things when I put in the costume to see how everything lays out, but for now I think it's looking good. So let's turn our top back on. And again, I'm not sure if I want these ribbons here, but if I do use them, I'm going to want them a little bit smaller, so I'm going to completely cut them out. And I'm just going to cut that off. Call that top. Call those dead ribbons. And let's make that its own group. And call it top. And like I said, I'm just gonna make these a lot smaller. If I do actually use them, I might just decide I don't want them. So, I'm going to fill in that space that I just cut out. So, I'm going to go on my top layer, going to find that ribbon layer. Where is it? Ribbon, 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 ribbon. There it is. And I'm just going to drag... Put that in front. I'm just going to drag that until it fills in that empty space. Alright. So, I was planning on just doing the body and calling it a day, but I have a little bit more time, so I'll add one little... Whoa. That's too close. I'll add one little costume detail in and then we'll stop it. So I'm going to add in her belt. So I'm going to take this guy's belt right here. I'm going to cut it out. Now let's go into liquify and just clean that up a little bit so it's not so so it's not so wonky just gonna move that there just gonna fix it so it's a little more smooth not so bumpy alright let's see how that looks that was pretty good. And uh, we don't want that red, we want that black, so... I'm gonna put a color overlay on that. Just gonna take a sample out of the bottoms. Turn all that all the way up. Then I'm gonna put a adjustment layer on that. And I'm just going to darken that all the way up. So it's more of a straight up black. And turn down the whites because I really don't need that, that highlight. And I'm going to make a layer in the back. I don't know, just call it back. And I'm going to take a sample out of the 
belt. Small brush. And I'm just gonna paint in the back of that belt where it wraps around. So now let's add in some shadows. So I've got to make a shadow layer underneath the belt. Put it on multiply. Take a sample out of our skin. Just start painting in our shadows. Let's paint a little shadow around there. And a little bit of a shadow around there. All right, so we finished um, putting together all of the base elements of her body. We started laying in uh, some of her costume, but I'm gonna call it a night and I'm gonna end it right there. So like, subscribe, you know how YouTube works. Take care.